previously on Gears. To get things going this morning and this afternoon, we've got uh, Matthew, our very good friend from uh, Quantum Driving in the uh, studio with us. Now, if you don't know anything about quantum driving, Matthew's going to tell us. How's it going, guys? How you doing, my friend? No, not too bad, not too bad. And lacquer. For a lot of people, they would just sit there who are unaware of quantum driving. They would sit there and think it's got something to do with cars. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And they'd be wrong. No, they would definitely be wrong. Oh. So okay. Actually, quantum driving is basically our division here in South Africa, and we do long drive golf. So to put it in a nutshell, plain and simple, is to hit a golf ball as far as possible within a grid. Okay. Uh, we have quite a few athletes here in South Africa, and some of the top drivers in the world actually come from South Africa as well. Unfortunately, we, they, they participate in our event as well. So it's trying to hit the golf ball as far as possible. Yes, yes. We have a grid within, within the grid. The grid's roughly between 30 to 40 meters wide. Yeah. And then we need, a, we need an area that's at least 450 meters long. Long. Um, towards the end of last season, we were having guys basically caning a ball over the 420 meter mark. So you put that in wow. perspective. It's, you know, these guys are really climbing into these balls. Is huge that huge amount of power. In summer or winter? No, all or year on right. tar. No, 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 no. We don't. No, we do. Because I do reckon properly, I could also you know. be 400 meters on tar. Yeah, you probably could down a, down a mine shaft as well. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to hit it straight first, though. Hey. <laughs> Just because your boyfriend made you some cash over the weekend that you can now go and spend it. Can you hear a bit of a challenge coming Jeez, out of you? tell you, eh? Yeah, yeah, we'll challenge each other. All right, so now now the thing about it is most people like myself or anybody who's listening, we would sit there and say, well, okay, that's all lacquer, but it seems like a closed idea. How, I mean, how, do you, how does one get involved or how does one go and see how far they can actually hit the golf ball? Well, our first event this year is going to be at Serengeti next weekend on the 16th of Feb, and we're all starting right. at 10 o'clock. Until yeah. Roughly about 5 o'clock, depending on how full the day gets. All right. If the guys are interested to come and check it out and come and watch, then they come through to the day and they can come and watch it out. Come now, and where do you do it? On the driving range? On the driving range, yeah. We do, we do have various spots where we do do the long drive events. Um, perfectly, yeah, it's so and it's going to be off of their driving range. Mm-hmm. There are other venues we do use as well, and it depends on whether it's their driving range or they close down a hole for the day that's long enough for us. To so hit it? Yeah, to hit it. All right. So, and I mean, is there like a competition? There is. Or, or how does it all work if somebody wants say, to come and hit the ball? Let's say you're interested to come along. Then you book your tea times. If you've got a preferred tea time that you're available from, say, 12 until 1, you then send an email through to info at quantumdriving.com. Info at Quantum Driving, yes. yeah. And then you would then submit your times that you would like to participate in. And depending on how many sessions you want, then we then fit you into a session. Okay, how long is a session? A session, you have 2 minutes and 45 seconds within to hit your 6 balls. So each, ses- each session Jeez. consists of 6 balls per session. Then you would hit your, you'd hit your balls and whichever is the longest one out of your 6 balls is the one that stands for that session. All so right. if you do, say you book 3 sessions and you hit your longest ball in your first session, your second ball, then you still participate through the day trying to increase that. that distance. If you don't, well, then that second ball in your first session is what stands for the day. Why is there time restriction? Because it, it forms a bit of a, a pressure on the athlete, but as well as keeps keeps it going, keeps it hyped up. You know? Okay, not, yeah. Not there to hit the ball and then recollect your thoughts and then worry about this and you know go wash your hands and blow your nose and then come eat your next ball so there we do have time restraints and obviously to get through the entire field or everyone that's participated through the day we have to have a time limit and it's a standard throughout long driving through the world as well there's a time spec and and do people just bring their own drivers they do, yes, you can bring your own drivers. We will have drivers available on the day for guys to use to, to see the difference. Because you must understand that the long drivers, us as long drivers, we use a different driver. Yes. It's not your standard driver that you can go and buy at a golf shop or whatever. We do have specific drivers we use. There are different brands we use as well as the shafts. There's a lot to play in with the shafts as well. There's different makes. There's different specs of shafts as well. So you can either go... Say, for instance, the, the shafts I use, I use a 2X shaft, which is twice as stiff as your stiffest shaft you'll get in a pro shop. Okay. So the shafts are a lot stiffer. Some of the guys I train with, Jason Cook, that I train with, he's our 2012 uh, IDCL champion. He uses a 4X or a 5X shaft, so it's almost like swinging a broomstick. Um, our shafts are longer. 
mm-hmm. but they are within regulation. Okay, they are within. So, I mean, you could have one of these clubs in your bag. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Doing a round of golf. Round of golf, yes, you could. They fall but within. You'd have to be really good and accurate. They fall within the 50 inch limit, yes. Okay. What, what does it cost for somebody to come and uh, participate? If you wanted to come, come participate on the 16th, then you're looking at 100 Rand a session, and okay. they get you your six balls. As well as from there, you then land up on our database as well, and then we can let you know when the next event is and everything and so forth. And what actually happens is that you, you're not playing for, say, prize money or prizes on the day, is that you are building up a record for yourself within quantum driving to then qualify to represent national and international events so that at the end of the year, this year we're going off to Mexico again for the IDCL. Yeah. And basically from there, you will then get selected to come and represent South Africa overseas and you'll compete against teams from Canada, the States, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand. So it's an international event that we have mm-hmm. once a year. And how many of these events do you have during the year? We, ha- we do a minimum of two events a month. A month, okay. Of quantum driving. And then the international event happens once a year. But this year we are actually trying to establish a, a, an event where we will have an international event here. Not necessarily RDCL. Okay. Um, but we're going to bring out an event here so that we will have some Americans out here. We'll bring some Canadians out here and have a local international event here. All right, Who's, who hits the ball the furthest in the world? It's debatable because a lot of the guys, it, it, it's, it's a very I suppose tough topic. altitude as well. Altitude because and everything as well, and some events, you know, the way they measure the field out is not necessarily correct either. The, the, the design that we use for quantum is we use a, a javelin-style field. So whether you're in the middle and you hit it down the right-hand side of the grid, that from that middle point to the right hand edge is the same as what it is to the middle of the of the grid as well. Okay. So it all depends. Um within quantum we've got guys that have got records now up at four hundred and forty two meters within quantum driving and that's our league record. <laughs> so it does get insane. Four hundred and forty meters. It does get insane. That's crazy. So that's a bit just further than you hit, Daji. <laughs> Yeah. I so it's a challenge. Okay, you and I, <laughs> one of the events we're going to go there. Let's Definitely. see who hits it. And there's no ladies' tea here, does Of course, it? there has to be a ladies' tea. No, there's no ladies' tea. the size of my arms. No, well, it's the size of my arms. You've been to the gym. You're getting nice guns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been to the gym forever. We've, we've, got, we've got different divisions. So we've, got a, we've got an open men's division. We've got a senior division. We've also got a ladies' division. Oh, you yes. see. So you'll be the ladies. I'll, I'll, be the, I'll be the seniors. I still will. <laughs> 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 but... How do you hit the ball so far? Do you have a technique that goes into it? Wide stance, wide legs, and moot. Yes, yes, it is. It's it's a lot of power driven through the shaft and through the, through the driver as well. Um, you must think that these guys' club head speed alone, the, the amount of force being put to his clubs, you're putting about between a minimum 180 upwards of 200 miles per hour of club head speed. And like a pro, say, on the Sunshine Tour, what's their club head speed? I would, don't hold me to it, but I would say their club head speed's about the 150 mark. Okay. So it's substantially so faster. No, it is. It is. But, but it's a question, there can be a lot of erratic shots as well. <laughs> there is, there is. But you do find that the guys that are doing long drive are dedicating their time to training and getting into that groove yeah, of it. swinging at that excessive power. Yeah. So it's it's not you do have the guys that are very consistent with long drivers. Some of the guys, Martinus and Luma and Jason Cook and Gerard, those guys all are consistent with their drives. They can they can get six balls in the grid. They're pretty good. Jeez, that's pretty uh, pretty. But then I suppose when they get to a if they're playing around the golf, they get to a par three, then they then they they bug it because they can't they don't know how to hit 130 meters. <laughs> <laughs> it does it does have an effect. Well, they can drive 440 and then still five putt. Yeah, just <laughs> pull up to the, pull up to the golf course with a driver chipper and a putter. Excellent, Matthew. Where can people get more information? Is there a they, website? Yes, you can. We've just launched the new website as of t- this morning. Okay. So you can go to quantumdriving.com. Quantumdriving.com and then info at quantumdriving.com info quantum if you want to get involved. Involved, or you can follow us on Twitter at, at Quantum Driving, capital Q, capital D. Okay. And you can follow us up there as regular updates on their involvements and everything like that. Yeah, and I mean, people can, you know, they can just take like an hour off, get involved with you, yeah. say, listen, you're going to have two sessions or whatever, your times are here, come through to Serengeti, blast their six balls or whatever, and then uh, just have a bit of fun, That's see, how, see how hard they can or far they can hit a ball. We're also trying to keep the, 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 the field 
to a to a degree where if people come along to watch and when I started out I was also very apprehensive about getting involved mm. but once you're there and you see what's happening come along pay your 100 grand for your registration and your first session and come hit the ball if if you're not at the level that we are at, the guys are there to help you and the guys can show you. When I started off, I started off with a normal driver and I couldn't hit that ball down the grid at all until people like Gerard and Jason said, try this driver out, do this, do that. And that's how I started building and getting into it. Incredible stuff. Matthew, it's always fun. I mean, you were part of the uh, Wings of Change Golf Day last year, which was awesome uh, terrific, terrific awesome fun. Uh, and we look forward to doing a lot of stuff with you during the course of this year. Yeah, no, we hope so. Awesome stuff. Get your information or send your uh, information if you are interested in maybe uh, taking part. Info at quantumdriving.com. Otherwise, check out their webpage, uh, quantumdriving.com. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gears with Sasha Martinengo. On balls.co.za.